Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and it's been yet another year here at Dragonsoft Studios. It's been... an eventful year, I can say that much, just not always in the best of ways, such as the recent failure of my game bridge. Though, hey, it just means I've stepped up efforts to get a new system up and running, so silver linings and all that. It's strange to think, though, that I've been at this for eight years now. You know, I tend to think of eight as my lucky number. Some cultures see it as a number signifying good fortune. One thing it hasn't done, though, it certainly didn't grant smooth sailing on recording projects. Yeah, it's that time once again. Enjoy another year's worth of fails. Somebody didn't move the speakers forward. Somebody's going to do another take. Alright, and we're back. So, just a quick bit of proof of concept here, as we hit the wrong buttons. Seriously, how long have I been playing this game and I'm still hitting the wrong buttons? <laughs> Audio recording go, and video recording in. Three, two... Oh, come on, stop sliding. Three, two, one, go! Sync text in te... Uh, Sync test in text box. That thing, yeah. And it's prize time, and our prize is a bonus boss. Meet Arachnus. It's immune to everything other than morph ball bombs. If you know what you're doing, though, Arachnus is actually... Really? That's what I did. That's what I did. This is kind of silly. I mean, yeah, I can get out of this. But this is silly. Well played. And we have a Gamma Metroid. Okay. That was a weird sound. <laughs> It's better to attack them from behind. From in front, their hitbox is a little bit wonky, so it's easy to get hit by them. Uh? What the? That wasn't here before. What the heck? <laughs> well, that's different. Okay, I think it was just too high there. But yeah, there we go. Their hitboxes in general are just kind of weird. What the heck? Um... Okay, so this is part of the not having to move left or right space jump glitch, but, uh... What's with the slowdown? <laughs> I've never seen that one happen. I'm completely broken at this point. Okay. <laughs> so we're using a pink palette this time. Hitboxes? What even? I'm confused and rightly so. And so it's time for us to leave this sector for real. Checking this out, though, we only have one Metroid next next for the left phase. English. The basic idea is you want to jump as high as possible, but on the way up, do a charge. This gives you a little more height than you'd normally get. For example, normal jumps, I cannot get... 
Never mind. <laughs> I guess it is possible to do that jump. Discoveries! <laughs> Now here's one rather nice control in this game. If you hold all four of the shoulder buttons, the camera behaves all wonky. Extreme close-up, and not showing what I'm trying to talk about. The camera is your friend! So coming down here, we have some gems. So now we'll go over here. <laughs> well, that happened! So we just cleared out Colossus, and that means we have enough treasure to buy sm sm smimming. Let's go smimming. Smimming, that's a word. Smimming. English! Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, and it's boss time! We're headed to Crush's Dungeon. Down we go. Oh, I actually cleared it. Whoops. Wah wah. That wasn't dramatic at all! Once they're all gone, loop back around and finish out the arches. Or just land on one. <laughs> well, that happened. Hello, Ron Mithril here once again, getting back to Ripto 2... Ripto 2 Spyro's Rage, yeah, that. The combat knife is still pretty useful, the green herb, we're gonna replace that pretty soon, and the shotgun, we honestly don't need it just yet. Oh, don't worry, we'll need the boomstick sooner or later. But for now, the hand... hand stick? Hand stick. Hand stick, ladies and gentlemen, hand stick. <laughs> That's one of those I know why I messed it up. I was thinking of boomstick, but... <laughs> wow. Follow Grundy and bash her relatives out of the rock. Three-star difficulty. Make sure you get the power up so you can go on the lava, of course. How did I get pushed out of the way like that? Almost successful, Spyro. That was... weird. Physics! The hitboxes can be a little weird sometimes, though, but it does work. For fodder animals, we have bog standard sheep once again. The thing with the flying enemies is, if you're just out of their range, they'll lower down toward the ground a little bit more, but if you get too close, they try and fly up and out of your range so you can't easily just charge in and flame them. I swear there was an enemy over here. That's odd. There should have been another of those bugs that it kicked the exploding barrels, so I'm not really sure what happened there. Okay, now I'm really confused. Okay, the flying enemy at the start the first of the bugs with the exploding barrels. Two flying bugs. Yeah, it's like an enemy didn't load in. What? No, I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. We've taken out two flying bugs, one bug with the exploding barrels, the spinning bug, so the other barrel-kicking bug does factor into that. 
Silly Durgan can't count to five. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I've been trying this too long today, obviously. Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Ripto 2 Spyro... Ripto 2 Spyro's Rage. Yeah, that's the game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that That's completely wrong. Just fling the bombs that he sends straight forward. The rest just kind of stay out of their way. If you keep up this pattern, this is a pretty easy fight. Excellent work, Dragon. Seriously? I got hit right at the cutscene. <laughs> and Sparks is blue, so that actually counted as damage. Good job. <laughs> Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, doing a bit of an intro... an intro? I guess technically. And so there you go. Another year's worth of projects, another year's worth of things just not quite going right. It's always kind of interesting to go back and look at these. For example, I didn't realize until just now that I called Spyro 2 the same wrong name twice. Once before the Resident Evil break, and once after. So that was pretty silly. But with that, that's the end of this one. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.